Sylvanas' actions have threatened us all. And day by day, her power grows. If our world is to survive, we must strike while we still can. Meet with me, and we will speak. So few. How many can you provide? Enough for one final assault. If that fails, we're done. If we end her reign, what kind of war chief will you be? The horde I joined was birthed in blood, tainted by corruption. The road that led to the dark portal was long and wide, paved with the bones of innocence. We called it the Path of Glory. That was the great lie upon which the Horde was founded. That anything we did was honorable. Thrall, Rosen, they were not the true heirs to Blackhand's bloody legacy. Sylvanas Windrunner is. No. No, this is the Horde. Led by you. Someone who has... Honor. I've never known honor. They deserve more. But the Horde is doomed to be shackled by the chains of the past. The Horde has no exclusive claim to regrets. Arthas, Dalen. The ghosts of the past haunt us as well. We could not fill the chasm between the Horde and Alliance if we labored a thousand years. You know this. Then what are we fighting for? Soldiers, on your feet! Start breaking camp immediately! Lord Safang? Zakan, where is our home? Orgrimma? Not our city, our home. Azeroth. And ours? Azeroth. Right now, there are only two forces in this world that matter. One bent on harming our world. And one that will protect her. So, what are we doing? Breaking the cycle. May we speak? Of course. Our sister is patient. She knows we have precious few soldiers left. While we lay siege to Orgrimmar, she will whittle away our numbers. But Sylvanas is not the only threat we face. The old god has been freed. I can hear his whispers, sense his unseen tendrils writhing all around us. I know, Illyria. What are you suggesting? Sylvanas commands what may be the only army capable of defeating Nazarth. For the sake of Azeroth, perhaps we should stand aside and let her. Your sister will not fight for us, Illyria. When Sylvanas realized the war was on the cusp of ending, she lured both fleets into Ajara's hands. Not to find victory, but to meet death. In the end, death claims us all. Ytrig told me those were among the last words Sylvanas spoke to Vol'jin. We cannot wage two wars. Sylvanas must fall. Here. Now. Before all is lost. It shall be so, my king. Verisa and I will scout her line for weaknesses. Good luck. To all of us. Without honor, we Dead. have nothing. We need you and your best soldiers to flank the city from the Western Gate. And leave you here unguarded with them. If I wanted to harm him, I'd have done it in the stockades. No one knows Orgrimmar's defenses better than Sourfang. We need to trust each other if we are to succeed. Very well. But the Banshee is clever. Dividing our forces might play right into her hands. So, we are to strike from the north. A sound plan. 
But there is no telling what treachery Sylvanas has in store for us. She fought beside you for many years, both in life and in undeath. You must know her well. Perhaps I did, long ago. But now... Hmm. Our forces are few in number. We must make use of the surrounding terrain when we assault the gate. The Sentinels have made use of that terrain for millennia. Our knowledge of the land was old when the Farstriders were young. Yes, of course. There is little my Eagle Riders can do while Sylvanas controls the skies. But we can still defend Thunder Bluff. G is already there, tending to Bane's wounds. He said he has seen Orgrimmar under siege once before, and does not wish to relive it. We will stand beside our Torin kin, and await further orders from Sarfane. Earth Mother, watch over us all. A wise decision. We can do so more effectively from higher ground. Lord Admiral, might I ask about the spellcraft you employed at Lordaeron? The levitating warship? Would you believe me if I told you it was a cold tier in trade secret? Summoning the ship, perhaps. But as for the enchanted cannons... have sworn to fight for you. Many lives will be lost. Or perhaps just one. Sylvanas Windrunner! I challenge Makora! Traitor leading traitors. Why should I accept your challenge? You want to make me suffer. Brother, you cannot win. set you on this path. And we knew where it could lead. Walk with me the rest of the way. The High Overlord falls. I trusted you. And so did they. Death comes, old soldier. 
and all their hope dies with you. You cannot kill hope. You tried at Delgasil. You failed. Hope remains. You set us to kill each other at Lordaeron. You failed. Here we stand. You just keep failing. The Horde will endure. The Horde is strong. The Horde is nothing. You are all nothing! If you could see yourselves as I see you. Toy soldiers in tin plate. Beasts who howl for honor. Standing as one. Savor it. Nothing lasts. do we do now? We bring him home. Regent Lord, what manner of magic did Sylvanas use against Sarfang? I had hoped either you or Thalysra would have the answer to that question. I have never seen her wield such power. It was unlike any magic I have ever encountered. I could sense none of it, even in her presence. Then she must have only recently acquired it, or simply waited until now to reveal it. Either way, it does not bode well for us. Whatever she is planning... She no longer needs the Horde to achieve it. For Azeroth... By the Earth, Mother. Sarfang. He risked his life to save mine, and gave his life to save the Horde. Go, champion. We will meet you in Orgrimmar, to honor the memory of Verox Sarfang. Varok Sarfang, son of Koruk, supreme commander of the might of Kalimdor, high overlord of the Horde. He led the charge against the Lich King. He defended our world from the Legion. Sarfang inspired all of us to strive for true honor, and his legacy will live on in our deeds. When the Alliance and Horde marched on Ankaraj, it was Saurfang who valiantly commanded our combined forces. Today, his courage saved thousands of lives on both sides of the battle. His sacrifice will never be forgotten. You have earned your warrior's death, old friend. Now, greet your son with Honor and glory.
Sarfang and I spoke much of honor in the Horde. Of our path forward from this crossroads. I never thought we would have to walk it without him. It falls to us to decide what the Horde will become. Azeroth needs our strength now more than ever. Grieve for Sarfang. And make ready to defend the world he died for. Thank you.